If you need any indication of the direction movies are going in this fall, well, LEGO Batman said it best. Darkness, no parents. From a Girl with the Dragon Tattoo sequel, to a long-awaited first look at The Conjuring spin-off slash prequel The Nun, June is promising a Halloween season that'll have you cowering under the covers. That said, it's not all doom and gloom on the docket. June also brought us trailers for Ralph Breaks the Internet, the Peter Jackson-produced Immortal Engines, and the Transformers spin-off Bumblebee, to name a few. In fact, we're looking at incredible trailers for movies as far out as 2019, which means there are a lot to run through. Here are all the trailers from June 2018 for movies that are sure to blow you away. Siberia Keanu Reeves is front and center in the first trailer for Siberia, a crime thriller about a sketchy diamond smuggler who heads to Russia to look for his missing partner. There, he discovers that his partner was trying to cheat some terrifyingly serious Russian mobsters. Will he be able to make it out of Siberia in one piece, or will he find himself on the wrong side of Russian justice? Find out when Siberia lands in theaters on July 13th. Poor boy. To be honest, Poor Boy doesn't look like an instant classic. The story of two hustling brothers who concoct a scheme to finally get out of their nowhere town, the film hit a few festivals in 2016 and then disappeared until it secured a 2018 release date. The highlight of the trailer has to be Michael Shannon in rodeo clown makeup delivering slow, existential quotes while he takes long drags on his cigarettes. Hopefully that won't be the only reason to see Poor Boy. But even if it is, well, there are worse ways to spend an afternoon. Look for it on July 13th. Robin Williams, Come Inside My Mind. What can you say about Robin Williams that hasn't been said before? I do a great impression of a hot dog. He entertained decades of fans, and now HBO is releasing a documentary about Williams' life to twist the faucet on those tear ducts one more time. With a wealth of behind-the-scenes footage, photographs from his childhood, and interviews with Williams' friends and family, Robin Williams' Come Inside My Mind looks like an intimate glimpse into the life of the legendary comic. There you are, you've become a reformed alcoholic. You've got a steaming glass of Perrier going, I feel so much better about myself. Take a look when it premieres on HBO on July 16th. Alpha the story of a dog and his prehistoric boy, Alpha is having no trouble tugging at viewers' heartstrings with its trailer. Full of sweeping music and touching moments, Alpha's trailers bill it as a movie about the domestication of dogs. Think of it as the gritty origin story of your mom's corgi. And okay, that may not seem like gripping cinema at first glance, but Alpha might just pull it off through spectacle alone. The trailer reveals rich cinematography filled with gorgeous landscapes and soaring aerial shots. Throw in a story about a sad wolf, and you've got your hands on cinematic gold. Look for Alpha on August 17th. The Little Stranger with 2015's Room, director Lenny Abramson made a unique, gut-wrenching movie about a mother who would go to any lengths to protect her son. The first trailer for his upcoming The Little Stranger reveals another subtle, nerve-jarring ride, this time with a supernatural twist. The story centers on a small-town doctor, played by Donald Gleason, who's called out to an old estate to fix up a sick maid. It isn't long before the old house begins revealing disturbing secrets, suggesting a supernatural presence. The Little Stranger is based on the 2009 gothic novel of the same name, and arrives in theaters on August 31st. The Nun The creepy, evil nun Valak made her first appearance in The Conjuring 2, and The Nun will serve as something of an origin story for the demon. With the main story centered on a Romanian priest and a young nun who are investigating what happened to a nun in an old church, it looks like a delightfully eerie popcorn movie to check out this fall. The Nun hits theaters on September 7th. Mandy Here's what we figured out from the trailer for Mandy. If losing your mind was a color, it'd be Nick Cage in neon pink with a homemade battle axe. So what you want? It's crazy evil! The story of a man and a girl living in the woods who get targeted by a sadistic biker cult, Mandy is somewhere between an acid trip and a horror movie. The perfect platform for Nick Cage to let loose with whatever it is that Nick Cage lets loose with. Take a look when Mandy barrels into theaters on September 14th. The Old Man and the Gun Robert Redford headlines his upcoming crime film as an old man who knocks over banks by flashing a gun and a smile. The Old Man and the Gun is based on the real life of Forrest Tucker, a career criminal who escaped from prison nearly 20 times. The events of the film follow Tucker as an elderly man who's still pulling heights, enchanting the bank workers with his gentlemanly smile even as he makes off with thousands in cash. He had a gun. You saw it. Well, he was also sort of a gentleman. Robert Redford is perfectly cast to play a suave, elderly criminal. And with Katie Affleck, Sissy Spacek, and Danny Glover co-starring, The Old Man and the Gun looks like a guaranteed winner. Look for it on September 28th. 
Bad times at the El Royale. When seven strangers show up at a seedy hotel near Lake Tahoe, the meeting kicks off a fateful night when nothing is what it seems. As the hours in the hotel wear on, each of them reveals a dark secret. I'm not really a priest. Yeah. No sh Written and directed by Drew Goddard, who also helmed the genre-twisting Cabin in the Woods, Bad Times at the El Royale is a tour de force of star power. Jeff Bridges, Chris Hemsworth, Dakota Johnson, and John Hamm headline the film, and the brief trailer hits all the right beats without giving away any plot twists. Check in to the El Royale when the movie lands in theaters on October 12th. First Man Directed by the Oscar-winning director of La La Land, First Man centers on a young Neil Armstrong during the lead-up to the Apollo 11 mission to land on the moon. Of course, it's safe to say that we know how the story will end, but the dramatized version of the momentous event, coupled with Ryan Gosling's portrayal of Armstrong, should be enough to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Look for First Man to land on October 12th. Serenity Matthew McConaughey stars in his upcoming thriller as a quiet fishing boat captain who gets an unexpected visit from his ex-wife, played by Anne Hathaway. She has a simple request, take her current husband out on the water and leave him for the sharks. After that, the trailer grinds into gear, throwing out tantalizing glimpses of the story while the slow tick of a fishing reel drives up the tension. If the movie is anywhere near as good as the trailer, Serenity looks like a sure win to look forward to later this year. Check it out when it reaches theaters on October 19th. Ralph Breaks the Internet the story of an arcade villain who decides that he wants to become a hero, 2012's Wreck-It Ralph is both an awesome love letter to video games and a heartfelt adventure tale. And where are you coming from? Uh, Pac-Man. Do you bring any fruit with you? No. No, no fruit. Okay, then. If the trailer for the sequel is any indication, it's heading in the same direction. After a worryingly emoji movie-esque opening that sees Ralph and Vanellope travel to the internet and gaze out over a sprawling city of product placement, the trailer finds its stride. Vanellope ends up in a room full of Disney princesses, they escape from stormtroopers, and it all looks like a lot of fun. Check out Ralph Breaks the Internet on November 21st. Shouldn't it be Ralph Wrecks the Internet? Yeah, since he is Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, yeah, but break the internet, it's like a thing. The Girl in the Spider's Web Sony seems to have a plan for their adaptations of the Millennium book series, even if nobody else can figure it out. Trailing David Fincher's 2011 The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and a complete, critically acclaimed trilogy of Swedish film adaptations, Sony is replacing the entire cast and moving straight to the fourth novel, The Girl in the Spider's Web. To be fair though, this new take looks like it's in good hands. Don't Breathe's Freddy Alvarez is directing, with Golden Globe winner Claire Foy stepping in as hacker vigilante Lisbeth Salander. Look for it in theaters on November 9th. Creed 2 Michael B. Jordan is returning to the ring this year in Creed 2. The trailer sees Creed training harder than ever while balancing his family life. It all ends with a tantalizing glimpse of Ivan Drago's son, promising an epic, emotional fight. The first Creed film became a surprise hit when it was released in 2015, resulting in an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor for Sylvester Stallone and a major box office take. Creed 2 looks like it's following in the same footsteps. Look for it on November 21st. Welcome to Marwen Steve Carell stars in Welcome to Marwen as Mark Hogenkamp, an artist who lost his ability to draw after he was beaten by neo-Nazis. Through extensive, detailed miniature models, Mark channels his imagination into a new form of art, dolls. Now I am making your silver pants blue. And sometimes his imagination takes him straight into the stories of the dolls themselves. Welcome to Marwen looks like one of the most unique movies to hit theaters in 2018. Take a look when it premieres on November 21st. Mortal Engines the Oscar-winning screenwriting team behind The Lord of the Rings is taking on another epic adaptation this December with Mortal Engines, a post-apocalyptic tale about wheeled cities that rove around the land preying on weaker cities. The story centers on a young woman named Hester Shaw, who becomes a fugitive from the rolling city of London after she attempts to assassinate a powerful man named Valentine. The trailer sets up the premise beautifully while leaving the main meat of the story for the movie itself. Look for Mortal Engines on December 14th. Bumblebee 11 years and 5 movies after kids first fell in love with HD robot toys, the Transformers franchise is getting back to its roots. Bumblebee sees the magical beginnings of the yellow car alien known as, well, Bumblebee, back when he was just a humble VW bug in a dusty scrapyard. Haley Steinfeld stars as a human girl who discovers him, kicking off a new adventure that sees the unlikely duo on the run from the evil government and evil of robots. Sort of like the first movie, if all the people were replaced with different people. Take a look when Bumblebee transforms and rolls into theaters in December 2018. The Lego Movie 2, the second part. 
Bricks Berg is in dire straits in the first trailer for the Lego Movie 2, which sees the town of Lego people transformed into a post-apocalyptic wasteland. But desolate ruins and sewer babies aren't enough to get Emmett down. He's still the cheerful, naive guy he always was, master builder or not. The Lego Movie 2, the second part, is scheduled to hit theaters in February 2019. Dumbo Continuing their ongoing march of live-action remakes, Disney released their first trailer for Dumbo this June. The journey of a little circus elephant who gets picked on until he learns how to fly. It's definitely a story that's been enchanting kids for generations. The new trailer doesn't go into much of the story, instead focusing on the essence of the tale, which is nothing short of pure childhood magic. Look for it in theaters in March 2019. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.